<laughs> what makes playtime so much fun? A superhero that saves the day. Kipper, the super dog. I must save the world. A jack in the box that makes you jump. I wonder what it is. A pottery wheel that makes you spin. It's working. A water balloon that makes you wet. Oh, no. <laughs> A magic carpet that makes you fly. But what really makes playtime so much fun is sharing it with a friend like Kipper. It's Kipper's Playtime, coming to home video on VHS from your friends at Hit Entertainment. Before our safari begins, we'd like to introduce you to our safari guide, Steve. G'day. There's some amazing animals in the Australian bush. Some of them even sing and dance. We call them the Wiggles. Where's the Wiggles? I'm Greg. I'm Murray. I'm Jeff. And I'm Anthony. Ah, oh, put you there, Anthony! <laughs> G'day, Wiggles! Have a look at this little beauty. As you can see, our safari guide knows all about Australian wildlife, especially those types known for their giggling, wiggling, singing, and dancing. It's wildlife that will make you laugh out loud. As we roll right along, you never know what kind of creatures you'll see. Mikey, that Captain Feather Sword, he's a real beauty. But one thing's for sure, everywhere we go, there's lots and lots and lots of wiggling. Camels! Camels, kangaroos, koalas, and more. The Australia bush is full of fun animals. And this wiggly safari is full of surprises. So be sure to watch for a wiggly dog named Wags and a dinosaur named Dorothy. Crikey! Wow. <laughs> it's great. Go ahead. Jump right in. There's no danger, danger, danger here. Just plenty of singing, dancing, and laughing. This safari gets better and better every minute. Absolutely gorgeous. If everyone's ready, the safari is about to begin. What a little beauty. Wiggles and giggles with every mile. Crikey, have a go at that. Right. It's, rain. <laughs> it's raining on me. Oh, wow, Anthony. <laughs> if you think the rain is very real, yeah. wait till you see the pretend tidal wave. Pretend tidal wave? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Come on along. You're gonna love every minute. We promise you've never seen animals move quite like this before. Woo! Don't you just love that Henry the Octopus? What happens when the Wiggles team up with the Crocodile Hunter? Everyone goes on a Wiggly Safari. Join us for this adventure tour through the Australia Zoo with Steve Irwin, the Crocodile Hunter himself, his wife Terry, and everyone's favorite, the Wiggles. Look for the Crocodile Hunter and the Wiggles starring in Wiggly Safari. Now available on VHS and DVD from your friends at Hit Entertainment. Friends come in all shapes and sizes. Hello, Angelina. And they always seem to be full of surprises. Sometimes they're small. The most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Sometimes they're tall. Um, may I have the honor of this dance? Yes, a good friend will say the kindest of things. Just look at those wonderful wings. Even when we have the wrong attitude, the best of friends will never be rude. So take it from this little ballerina, whose name just happens to be Angelina. This is for you. A gift from a friend is the very best kind. It's not my birthday. Best friends can give each other presents anytime. And a friendship is something that no one can sever. Because a friend is a friend forever and ever. Look for Angelina Ballerina, starring in Friends Forever on home video on VHS and DVD from Hit Entertainment. Hey, Christmas, here we come! Tom's 
coming for Christmas. Tom's coming for Christmas. <laughs> oh, honestly, Bob. Look, that's me and Tom when we were kids. This is a Christmas story about a special reunion between two brothers, a builder named Bob and his twin named Tom. <laughs> can we fix it? Yes, we can! But it's also a story about a really fun bunch of machines. <laughs> oh, yeah, and a very silly oh. scarecrow. Oh, wow! And did I mention that it's also about a really famous surprise guest star? Hey, no pictures. And of course, no Christmas story would be complete without this jolly fellow. Merry Christmas, everyone! One thing's for sure, with Bob the Builder and all his friends, it'll be a blast. Is there a... Bob the Builder here. This really is going to be the, the best, best Christmas, Christmas ever. ever. It's definitely going to be a Christmas to remember with Bob the Builder. Look for A Christmas to Remember coming to home video and DVD in October 2003 from your friends at Hit Entertainment. Can you join it? Yes, you can. Join the Bob the Builder fan club by calling toll-free 1-888-956-8762 or join online at www.bobthebuilder.com Be a part of Bob's crew! Thank you. 
Bob, you sure you know what you're doing today? Yes, Wendy. We're resurfacing the road by the side of the farmer's field. Oh, good. Now, let's see. You're taking Scoop, Roly, and Muck. Yes, she's carrying the load of gravel. Oh, that's fine. Off you go. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! Bye, then. Bud, come see what I found. I can't. I'm busy scaring crows. But there aren't any crows around. See? Shows what a good job I'm doing. <laughs> Spud, come and look, please. They're like a bunch of upside-down hairbrushes. <laughs> Don't be silly, Travis. They're just porcupines. Well, I've never seen them around here before. Ah, well, porcupines usually come out at night, you see. I bet they woke up because they're hungry. Just you watch. They'll wander off again in a minute. Oh, there they go. Told ya. <laughs> well, I just hope they know how to cross the road. That's all. Now then, Scoop, we're supposed to be giving the road a nice new surface, so you need to spread the gravel around evenly, okay? No prob, Bob. You can rely on me. Scoop. Thanks, Bob. Rolly, it's all yours. All right! Let's 
Let's rock and roll! Oh no! There are porcupines on the road! Rolly, watch out! Stop! Oh, porcupines! Oh, Bob! Scoop! Oh, look! Oh! <sighs> Goodness, that was a close call. Oh dear. Sorry. All right, Rolly, back you go. That was close, Muck. Good move. Whoa! You've got to look where you're going, Rolly. Especially when you're going backwards. Sorry, Bob. I was making up a song in my head. Well, just watch out in the future. Now then, what are we gonna do about this bunch? Once this road's open to traffic, it won't be safe for porcupines. Got any ideas, anyone? Uh, well, we could, uh... Whoa... No. Well, perhaps we could... If we de... Um... No. Wait a minute. How would people get across a busy road? Over a bridge? No. Don't think over. Think under. You mean build a tunnel. What a good idea. We better get to work. But, um, what about the porcupines? They can't just sit here while we work. Ah, uh, mm, no, you're right. Um, take them back to the yard, Muck, just for the moment. Oh, and when you come back, bring some pipes with you. Yeah. All right, Bob. I'll call Wendy and tell her you're on your way. Porcupine rescue, here I come! Hello? Bob's building yard? Bob? Is that you? You sound very faint. Sorry, Wendy. Had the phone upside down. I'm just calling to let you know that Muck's on her way with four porcupines. Four porcupines? Oh, okay then. That's fine. And you want Muck to take some pipes back with her. No problem. I'll take care of it. Muck's on a mission! Look! Oh! Oh! Oh no! Get away! Get away from me! <laughs> I, I, I don't like them! I don't like them! Oh! Goodness! What's that noise? <laughs> what on earth's going on here? Mice! Mice with spikes! Oh no! <laughs> Don't be so silly, Lofty. They're porcupines. Look, they're harmless. <laughs> well, almost. Right, Scoop. About there, I think. See, Lofty? I told you. They're harmless. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Anyway, come on. Let's get these pipes loaded into muck. Ah, uh, here you are, Bob. The pipes you asked for. Thank you, Muck. Just drop them off over there. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Hello, Bob's Building Yard. Oh, hello, Bob. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right, yes. I'll send them back right away. I've got someone in mind for the job. All right, little ones. Time to go home. Lofty, 
This is a job for you. Uh, a job for me? Well, uh, uh, if you say so. I sure hope the porcupines like what we've done for them. Ta-da! Bob's first porcupine tunnel! All right, off you go, porcupines. And good luck. Oh, lovely. Good night. Goodbye now. Oh, bye now. Nice meeting you. Bye. Take care. Now that the porcupines have safely crossed the road, it's time for us to head home. Let's go! Hooray! Okay, team, this is where we're laying the stones. Hold on. Where's my trowel? Oh, no. I think I left it on top of the wall we just built for Mr. Bentley. I'll be right back. Bye, Bob. See you soon. I know. Let's help Bob and do the job ourselves. Yeah! Okay, everyone, finished. Oh, no, we haven't, Scoop. We've missed a spot. Oh, no. Come on, Lofty. Let's see if this one will fit. No, it's not right. It's too round. The sides are all curvy. Let's try another one. That's good, Lofty. Lift it into place. Oh, uh, I hope it's all right. The edges won't fit in. Oh, no. Don't worry, Lofty. Let's try this last one. It fits! Hooray! We found the right shape! Perfect! Wow! This is a surprise! We thought we'd finish the job for you, Bob. Thanks, team! Bob, where's your hat? It's on my head. Uh, oh, no! Now I've left my hat on that wall. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, morning, What are we doing today? Yeah, is it something fun? Well, you've all got the day off. While I work in my workshop and make some window frames. Oh, great. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. Go on. Blah, 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 blah. Get away. Ick. Oh, bird, you're supposed to be scared. I'm a scarecrow. I scare birds. It's my job. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, no. I must be losing my touch. Hey, Spud, shouldn't you be at work by now? Farmer Pickle says there's lots of birds around eating his crops. You won't tell him I was late, will you? Can't stop, Spud. I'm late, too. Farmer Pickles is waiting for me. Well, wait a sec, Travis. Uh, if you were a bird, would you think I was scary? Well, I don't know. I'm not a bird. Well, pretend. Do something scary, then. Hair! Nah. That's your best? But my dad Spud showed me, and my granddad Spud showed him before that, and his... Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> Maybe birds just don't find scarecrows scary anymore. But what about my scary pointy nose and my long scary arms and... Hey, and, and... why don't you try some karate? All right, gotta go. <laughs> Listen. Bird. I can be scary if I want. You'll see. Ah! Ha ha! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh. <laughs> This'll scare the birds. There. Not a bird in sight. I should have thought of this before. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He, oh, he, yeah, oh. To the left. Two, three, four. 
Dizzy. Five, six and seven and eight. Dizzy. Oh, oh, sorry, Bob. I was just doing my exercises. Why don't you go in and, um, borrow a tape measure for me from Farmer Pickles? But you've already got a tape measure. Yes, but his is so much better than mine. Okay then, Bob. <laughs> See ya. Oh, it's all right, Dizzy. You don't have to rush. I won't need it for a while. Oh, at last, peace and quiet. Window frames are there in a house? Well, Muck, uh, that all depends on the size of the house. Why? Oh, because all houses are different. But... Tell you what, Muck, why don't you go and see if you can catch up with Dizzy? Oh, okay, Bob. See you later. Phew. Hey, that's different. What do you mean? Uh, well, you look different. You wearing a new scarf or something? Or new pants? Hi, Spud! Hi, Travis! Hi, Travis. Hi Spud! <laughs> Spud! <laughs> Where's your nose? <laughs> oh, yeah! No nose! Ha, 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 ha! Very good joke. <laughs> oh! Where's it gone? Oh, 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 please help me find it. I can't be a scarecrow without a nose. All the birds will laugh at me. Help me, please, please, please. I don't want anyone to see me like this. Chill out, Spud. Now, when did you last have your nose? I don't know, Travis. That's just it. I mean, I mean, I've always had a nose. Haven't I? Well, uh, you have to retrace your steps. Like detectives. Well, I slept in the barn last night, like I always do, and then I walked to work along the lane. Right, let's go. <clears throat> but I can't leave my field. Farmer Pickles will get upset. Don't worry, Spud. You look around your field and I'll look and I can look in the lane. And I'll have a look in the barn on my way back to the farm. Thanks. You're real friends. Bye. Oh. I'll have to find a new job. No bird will ever take me seriously again without my nose. <laughs> oh, we've looked everywhere and we haven't found it. I know, but we've got to help Spud get his nose back. Maybe we could find something that looked like his old nose. Something long and pointy? That's a great idea! Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Oh, uh, well, so, uh, did you did you find my nose? Well, uh, not exactly. We looked everywhere, but... But, but we found some things that are like your nose. Look! Uh, well, it... It's very kind of you, but... Come on, Spud. Please try one on. Oh, all right, then. But don't look till I say you can. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to laugh. <laughs> what about this one? Nah, it's too big. This one? <laughs> Too small. Uh, uh, this one then. Uh, not bad. Yeah, but uh, is it scary? Oh, Spud! <laughs> well, there's only one left. How's that? Oh. It's just not you, Spud. No, oh, I give up. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, Spud. Spud, are you all right? Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, but something hit me. Oh, Spud! It's your nose! It's back! Hooray! But how did that happen? It must 
octagon in their hole! Yeah! It must have fallen off when I was doing my karate. Karate? <laughs> You'll have to be more careful next time, Spud. Oh, I was just worried that birds didn't find me scary anymore. Oh, Spud, you're the scariest scarecrow I know. Yeah? Yeah. Can he scare us? Yes, he can! <laughs> Spud's back on the job! <laughs> there, finished. Not bad. <laughs> Even if I do say so myself. Good job, Bob. Now, where did Muck and Dizzy get to? They've been gone for ages. Oh, come on, Scoop. I think we'd better go and have a look for them. Jump on, Bob. <laughs> I don't know, Scoop. Anyone would think they'd all done a hard day's work instead of having a day off. What on earth have they been up to? <laughs> what? Oh, Spud, you scared me. <gasps> did I, Bob? Really? Yes, you did. <laughs> Sorry, Bob, but I am a scarecrow. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Sorry, I must have, uh, oh, snoozed off. I'll just go and get that tape measure you wanted. It's okay, Dizzy. I finished the window frames. Come on, let's get you two sleepy heads home. Bye, Spud. See ya, Spud. Yeah, see ya, scary Spud. Whew, now that's much better, Spud. Hey, that's scary Spud to you. <laughs> <laughs> Beep, beep. Look out, Spud! Ah! Sorry, Spud, but you shouldn't be in the road. Bye, Spud! Ugh. Oh, what's this? A sheet! <laughs> I'm Spud the Ghost! Now it's Muck's turn to get scared. <laughs> Uh, just pretending to be scared, you know. Oh, I don't like the dark. M maybe if I whistle to myself, I'll feel a little better. Oh, no. There's something else out there. <gasps> what if it's a real ghost? Ah! Oh, oh, Spud, it's you! Look, I'm really sorry I peeped at you before. I'm sorry too, Buck. I was trying to be scary, but I'm not very good at it. But why are you here? I was helping Farmer Pickles look for his sheets. They blew off my washing line. Huh? What's that, Spud? Well, <laughs> my best sheet. Good job, Spud. I think you deserve some cake as a reward. Maybe I could eat a little cake. <laughs> Phew. This is hard work. Yeah. My digger's practically in pieces. And my roller's a... Really? Stop! Whew. That was really close. You almost knocked over the fence. Whoops. Sorry, Bob. Ah, uh, don't worry. No harm done. I think it's about time we called it a day. We're all getting a bit tired. I think I could sleep for a week. A month, two months. A year. Two years. All right, you two. You're not in a contest. Sorry, Bob. Just put this around the ditch. Don't want anyone to fall in, do we? I can. Whoa! Hey! Take it easy, Scoop. Sorry, Wendy. Tag, you're it, Wendy.
Wendy. Oh, no, I'm not. It's time for me to go home. Or it would be if Bob was back. He's very late. Hey, Wendy. Oh, we're back. Yes, and by the look on your faces, I'd say you were tired. Yes, we all are. It's been a very long... Pilchard. Hello, Wendy. What jobs have we got to do today? Well, Dizzy, I'll just run into the office and get my list. Time to get back to work. Come on, Rolly. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Rolly? 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 Uh, Wendy? Did you send Rolly on a job? No. Why? Um, well, he's not in the yard. Oh, Ooh, that's strange. Bird? Where? What is it, Scoop? Bird says Rolly's sleep rolling. He's gonna flatten the town into a pancake. <gasps> well, we better go and wake him up before he gets into trouble. Come on, Scoop. No, no, wait, Bob. It can be very confusing for someone if they get woken up miles away from where they fell asleep. Somehow, we have to guide Rolly back here before he wakes up. Oh, we better split up and see if we can find him. Here, Wendy, take this. We might need to keep in touch. Can we find him? Yes, we can! Uh, I think so, yeah. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Just follow the flat stuff. Look at that street light. Rolly's rolled over everything. Rolly! Rolly! Shh! Wendy said not to wake him, Bob. Oh, yeah. Rolly! seen Rolly, have you, Travis? He's just vanished. Tell me about it. He nearly squished me like a pancake. Which way did he go? That way. Oh, thanks, Travis. Come on, Lofty. Let's go! Oh, uh, bye! Bye! Don't get in front of him. <laughs> oh, no. I hope nothing's happened. He could be. Look, what? there he is. Where? He's 
heading straight for the ditch. If he falls in, we'll never get him out again. What are we gonna do? Think, Scoop. Think. I am thinking. Um. Got it. Oh, Bob, what are you doing? Making a bridge. I hope. Uh, uh, I hope the bridge is stronger than the fence. Oh, no, I just can't look. Wendy? Oh, Wendy, we found him. I want you to get over to Mr. Beasley's with Lofty quickly. Okay, Lofty. A little closer. Be careful, Bob. All right. Take him back, Lofty. Easy does it. I'm worn out. Uh, me too, I think. Bob, we can't find Rolly. Shh. Oh, Rolly, oh, here he <laughs> oh, hi, everyone. Time to get up, eh? Boy, I've had a really refreshing sleep. Come on, Muck. Let's. <laughs> Would you look at that, Dizzy? Muck's asleep. Uh, Dizzy? Lofty? Scoop? Oh, well. Come on, Bob. Can we fix it? <sighs> I'm afraid not, Rolly. Not right now. I'm a little tired. See you tomorrow, Wendy. <sighs> Bye, Bob. Bye, Rolly. Bert? What's happening? Look at them, all asleep. <laughs> and it was me who was working my rollers off yesterday, not them. I can't understand it. <laughs> okay, team, we're gonna build a new rock garden in the park today. I like rock gardens. Rock and roll! How many rocks are there, Rolly? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, Bob! That's right. So, I need to make seven holes. Come on, Scoop. I'll make the holes and you can put the rocks in. No problem, Bob. Hold on a minute. He said there were seven rocks. There were! I counted them! But we've put in seven rocks already, so we shouldn't have any left. And there's one there. You're right, Scoop. Sorry, Bob. I must have made a mistake when I counted. Oh. Hello? Bob the Builder. Oh, hello, Mrs. Potts. I see. Tommy the Tortoise is missing. Oh, my. I know there were only seven rocks. <gasps> it's gone! <laughs> Hello, Tommy. Tommy! It's all right, Mrs. Potts. He's here, safe and sound. We'll bring him back on our way home. <laughs> Bob, he's eating your lunch. <laughs> oh, no. Tommy! Lofty, we've got to get going with that big roofing job today, so we'll need these tiles, okay? Uh, okay, Bob. Sure shot Dizzy races down the side. Hey, hey, everyone. Come and look at this. What is it, Bob? Look what we found when Lofty lifted the tiles. Oh, it's a bird's nest. And look what's inside it. An egg. An egg? 
Like the ones Bob has for breakfast. No, Rolly. I think this egg is going to hatch into a baby bird. Oh, let me see. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. <laughs> Hello, baby bird. Can you hear me in there? Mm, I don't like the look of those tires. They might fall on the nest at any moment. We could move the nest somewhere safe. Oh, no, Muck. You should never disturb or move a nest, especially one that has an egg in it. We should just leave it alone and try not to make any noise when we're near it. I don't know where the mother bird is, but she certainly picked a bad spot to build her nest. Oh, look. Here she comes now. <laughs> If that's the egg's mother, what does it make us? Well, I suppose it makes us its aunts and uncles. Wow! I've never been an aunt before. All right, everyone. We've got work to do. Except you, Rolly. You can have the day off. Whoa! Thanks, Bob. <sighs> Dizzy, why don't you stay here on bird watch? I won't need any cement until I start work on the chimney. Oh, can I, Bob? Can I? That's brilliant. Don't worry, Mummy Bird. I'm going to look after you and your egg because I'm your egg's aunt. Okay, let's go. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Uh, yeah, I think so. Wanna play, Dizzy? Shh. I haven't got time to play, Rolly. I'm looking after the nest. Oh, all right then. Okay, Lofty, send up the tiles. Okay, Bob. Pilchard, I don't think you're going to have to worry about any more flying soccer balls today. Oh, oh I'm bored. She's racing down the side, and then she goes, Way! Good. That's all of today's letters finished. Oh, I wonder how Dizzy's doing. <laughs> wow. You can't catch me, Pilchard. Dizzy? Pilchard? Right. <laughs> There's only one more defender to beat. Dizzy beats her. Wow. It's an open goal. Dizzy shoots. Dizzy! <laughs> Be careful! The nest! Oh, no! <laughs> Phew, that was close. Dizzy, you must be more careful when you kick your ball. You could have hit the nest. Even Pilchard was trying to stop you. Oh, I didn't mean to kick it at the nest. Really, I didn't. I was just... our baby bird. Oh, it's really cute and really fluffy. His mommy keeps feeding him. Look. Oh, it's really grown. Morning, team. We should finish the tiling and repair the chimney today. Is everybody ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah we're sure. ready, Bob. Yeah, sure. I think so. Come on, Dizzy. It's time to go. Watch. I can do it if you like. Good idea, Scoop. 
talk you go, Dizzy. The sooner you're finished, the sooner you can come back. Don't worry. I'll mix that cement faster than it's ever been mixed before. Do you need any cement yet, Bob? Not yet, Dizzy. I've just got a few more tiles to lay. Uh, what's up, Dizzy? Wendy says the baby bird is almost big enough to fly. I don't want to miss that. Now do you want any cement, Bob? Not yet, Dizzy. I'll let you know when I do. Uh, Bob! Okay, Dizzy. Get mixing! Yippee! <laughs> Dizzy, stop! Oh, I thought if I mix the cement quickly, I could get back to the nest. Oh, I understand, Dizzy. I just hope there's enough left for the chimney. Good, good. I think that should be enough. Oh, can I go now, Bob? Can I please? <laughs> go ahead. Yippee! Away! Here I come! So I see. I think you're just in time to see something really special. I think the baby bird's gonna fly. Oh, no! Oh, hooray! Good catch, Scoop! Yes, good job. And look, it's going to try again. Oh, catch him, Scoop! Now that the baby bird can fly, they don't need the nest anymore. They can go wherever they want. I think he's saying thank you. Oh, that's all right. It was fun being an ant. Hello, team. Baby bird learned to fly, Bob. It flew away with its mom. But it said thank you to me first. Oh, that's great. Maybe we'll come back and visit you one day. I wonder what Dizzy's going to do now that they're gone. Oh, I'm sure she'll think of something. I'm an ant. Yes, I am. <laughs> that's our Dizzy. She's always in a spin. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next job, Bob? We're off to Farmer Pickle's field to dig up an old tree stump. That sounds like fun, doesn't it, Lofty? Uh, yeah, I think so. <gasps> Look! Rabbits! Where are they going, Bob? They're going down that hole, to their home. See? Oh, I didn't know that rabbits lived in holes. Oh, uh, it must be really dark. It's all right, Lofty. Rabbits like the dark. Okay, let's pull out this tree stump. What do we do first, Bob? Well, Scoop, I'd like you to dig out the dirt around the roots of the stump, and then we'll put a chain around it so Lofty can lift it up. No prob, Bob. Bob, what's that? I think it's a, a nest of mice, Scoop. Oh, no! The mice! It's all right, Lofty. They're asleep. This tree stump is their home. Oh, no! If we dig it up now, the mice won't have anywhere to live. That's right, Scoop. We'll have to tell Farmer Pickles that we can't move the stump until the baby mice have grown up and left the nest. <sighs> Does that mean we can go home now, Bob? <laughs> yes, back to our nice, cozy home. Oh, good. I'm glad I don't live in a tree stump. <laughs> oh, so am I, Lofty. <laughs> so am I.